Now in question number three, it says let S and B set of all n digit numbers whose digits are all one or two and there are no two consecutive twos, then the number of elements in S10 is. That's a very standard question in recurrence relation. Um, we have solved n number of questions like no consecutive heads. So if we look at this Sn, this Sn will have n digits. Now this last digit, it could be either one or two. So there are only two cases. So last digit can be either one or two. If it is one, then there is no restriction. So the problem reduces to arrangements of one and two in the remaining n minus one places, which is S n minus one. But if the last digit is two, we know that two cannot appear consecutively. So the number before two has to be one. So these two places, they are fixed. Now we have to arrange ones and twos in the remaining n minus two places and it can be done in s n minus two ways. So basically this s n, it is s n minus one plus s n minus two. So it's a recurrence relation. And in order to find the value of s10, first we'll find s1 and s2. s1 is when we have only one element. So there'll be two such numbers. Either it'll be one or two. And for s2, it'll be one, 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 two, two, one but not 2, 2. So S3 is 3. So this is your S1 and that's your S2. Now S1 plus S2 is S3, which is 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 5 plus 8, 13. 13 plus 8, 21. 21 plus 13, 34. 34 plus 21, 55. 34 plus 55, 89. And 89 and 55 is 144, which is basically your S10. And that's your option C. In the question, there are 40 distinct balls which are to be placed in four distinct boxes such that each box has 10 balls and out of these 40 balls, 10 are defective and these 10 balls are to be distributed in the first two boxes and we need to find how many ways it can be done. Now, let us say we have four boxes, namely 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, the defective balls, they can only go to box 1 and 2. So all the defective balls, they are already here. Now for one and two, we need 10 more balls. So now we are left with 30 balls, which are to be distributed in 10 and 20, 10 for this group and 20 for the group containing three and four. So first we have to distribute these 30 balls in two parts. Now it can be done in factorial 30 divided by factorial 10, factorial 20 ways. So now we have 20 balls here and 20 balls here. Now these 20 balls, are to be distributed in the two boxes. So you have to distribute them in a set of 10 and 10. Now it can be done in factorial 20 upon factorial 10, factorial 10. And we have not divided it by factorial 2 because these two boxes, they are distinct. In the same way, for the boxes 3 and 4, again, we can distribute these 20 balls in 10 and 10 as factorial 20 divided by factorial 10, factorial 10. And if you want to simplify it, it will come as factorial 30 into factorial 20 upon factorial 10 to the power 5 and that's your option B. Now in, question, now in question number 18, we are given two sets A and B. A has five elements and B has 10 elements. Now it says we need to find number of ordered pairs of the functions f and g such that g of fx is x. So that means after this composition, 1 should be mapped to 1, 2 should be mapped to 2, so on and so forth. Now, since this g, it is a function, so there must be at least 5 elements in g that must have images as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let us suppose those 5 elements are x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. So, the first step is, out of these 10 elements in b, we have to choose 5 elements which are going to be mapped with A. So number of ways in which we can choose these five elements is 10C5. So now we have five elements in A and five elements in B. Now these five elements, they can be mapped to these five elements in factorial five ways. So total number of functions F will be given by 10C5 into factorial five. Now coming to this set B, this set B has 10 elements. Now for these five elements, we already know their images, right? If x1 is mapped to 1, then x1 must be mapped to 1 for this g of fa to be a. So 
image of these five elements, they are already defined. So number of ways of choosing image for these five elements will be simply one. What we are now left with is five remaining elements in B and for these five remaining elements, we need to find an image in this set A. Now for each element, we have five choices. For the first element, we have five choices. For the second one, we have five choices. So it will be five into five into five, five times. So then it will be five to the power five. So the total number of ways of doing it is 10 C5 factorial 5 into 5 to the power 5. And if you were to solve it, it will be factorial 10 upon factorial 5, 5 to the power 5. And that's your option A. Now the question is, consider the point of the form n comma n to the power k, where n is greater than or equal to 0 and k is greater than or equal to 1. Inside the circle, which is x square plus y square equals 100. So if the point lies inside this circle, then x square plus y square should be less than 100. And x is n and y is n to the power k. So basically n square plus n to the power k should be less than 100 or n to the power 2k should be less than 100 minus n square. Now n, it starts from 0. So if we take n as 0, we get only 1.0, 0. If we take n as 1, again we'll have 1.1, 1. 1, 1. Now for n equals 2, it'll be 2 to the power 2k should be less than 96 or 4 to the power k should be less than 96. Now we know that 4 cube is 64. So value of k should be less than 3. So here we have 3 points. 2 comma 2, 2 comma 4 and 2 comma 8. Now for n equals 3. The condition will be 9 to the power k should be less than 91. Now we know that 9 square is 81. So we'll have 2 points. Value of k can be 1 and 2. So the points will be 3 comma 3 and 3 comma 9. Now for n equals 4. We'll have 4 to the power 2k. That is 16 to the power k less than 86. Now 16 square is 256. So only one value is possible. So there'll be 4 comma 4. In the same way, it'll be 5 comma 5, 6 comma 6. And for n equals 7, we'll have 7 square 49. It should be less than 51. So there'll be 7 comma 7. And hereafter, 8 to the power k will be less than 100 minus 64, there will be 36. Now this is not possible. So these are the only points possible. Now this is 1, 2, 5, 7 and 4, 11. So there will be 11 such points inside this circle and that's your option A.